Good evening, Wrightsville. Donna Pinckney here, bringing you this evening's devotion from Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. Tonight's title is The Words We Say Have Tremendous Power. Be picky about the ones you choose. Our scripture tonight is The Voice of the Lord is Powerful. The Voice of the Lord is Majestic. Psalm 29 4. Bob writes, it's funny the memories that stick with you from the time you were a kid. Maybe you can imagine in vivid detail the Christmas morning when you got your first bike. The room, the tree, the texture of the carpet, and the fact that you're out of bed at 3 a.m. Maybe you can remember a teacher who called out what was great about you. A compliment you can remember like she's whispering it in your ear right now. These memories connect end to end to become who we are. And the words that stick on our hearts shape us most. Just like the heckling kept us off the field because of how we threw or that we ran like a giraffe in roller skates, the right words from the right people put us on track to become nurses, public servants, or human rights advocates when they told us that our talents could change the world. Powerful words gave us the gentle push we needed, the courage to push past. If we were to trace our steps back along the path that led us here, we would likely find it all started with a few well-placed words from someone we trusted. It's no surprise when you think about it. God set the universe in motion with words. He called for light and the stars burst forth on the backdrop of the night sky. He wanted kangaroos and koala bears, so he spoke them into existence. God's words have the power to create life. He gave our words the power to shape lives. Here's what we need to do, folks. Be picky about the words we say. They have the power to shape our lives and the lives of the people around us. Equally important, be careful about the words you cling to. Don't read the junk mail. Check out the return address first. If it didn't come from Jesus, it's not worth listening to. Tonight's question what words have you been listening to lately other than God's? It's a good question. It's a fair question, and I invite you to let us know. Are you speaking words of hope and love into people around you? Are you listening to words of hope and love? So good to see you, Ridesville. I can't wait to get to see you again in person. We miss you. We love you. Have a good evening.